So today we're going to talk about graphical output or how to put diagrams into the programs that we create. To do this we're going to be using methods from the console class and this is actually one of the reasons why we're using the console class in our Java programs It's because it comes with pre-coded methods for us. Now if you don't remember what a method is, a method is a pre-coded command that we can use to perform a task. So we've already worked with two methods so far in this course. We've used print and print line. When you look at a method a little more closely, you'll notice that it always ends with smooth brackets. The information provided within these smooth brackets are called parameters. So a print method requires something for us to print. In your program, when you actually provide that information, that's called an argument. So you provide an argument for a parameter of a method. Let's look at that a little bit more closely. So again, in the print method, I require a string which I'll call sentence. When I see this written out, it tells a programmer that they're going to have to give a string to be printed. Then when I actually write my code in my program, I replace that parameter with the actual contents that I want printed. So this is called the argument. This argument will be passed or, or provided to the parameter of the print method. So what methods do we have at our disposal for drawing graphics in a console? Well, the first one is called draw line. Draw line requires four parameters: the x, y points for one point, and the x, y values for a second point, and then it connects those two points with a line. So, if I was going to show you that in Java, I'm going to go from 1, 1 to 100, 100. So, you should see if this compiles and runs a nice diagonal line running from position 1, 1 in the top corner down to position 100, 100. So as you can see, 0, 0 is the top corner and we get larger as we move across and down our console. The second method we can work with is called draw rect. And again, we provide it four parameters. This time, you're giving the XY location for the top left hand corner and then the width and height of the rectangle you want to draw. So, if I change this to draw rectangle, and again go from 1, 1 to a width of 100 and a height of 100, I should get a nice square drawn on my screen. There you go, with a width of 100 and a height of 100. Now, I also have available a method called fill rectangle. It works exactly the same thing as draw rectangle. The only difference is instead of having an outline, of a rectangle, I can have it filled in in whatever color I'm currently working with. So if I change this to fill rectangle, compile it and run it, because I'm working in black, I should find a black square on my screen. To draw circles and ovals, we use the method called draw oval, and it works essentially the same way as the draw rectangle. We provide the top left hand corner and width and height of an imaginary square or rectangle. And then what Java does is it draws the largest possible oval that it can fit inside of that square that you've created. So let's take a look. Again, instead of using a rectangle, I'm going to draw an oval and we'll use the same arguments that we provided before. So I should see a nice circle here. And there you go. So notice it's about the same size as the squares that we were drawing before, 100 by 100. And similarly to draw oval, we also have the fill oval. So I'll just show you that here, where we can fill it in with whatever color we're working with. Now if you want to work with different colors, we have a method to do that as well. That's called the set color method. And the set color method requires one parameter, and that is the color that we're working with. The color you can identify by using color dot and then whatever color you want, provided that it's a color that Java knows exists. So blue, red, yellow, green, basically any common color that you can think of. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So now I'm going to change dot set color. And notice that's OR, not OUR, because we're working with an American program here, color dot blue. And compile it and run it. 
And now we see I've got a blue circle instead of an oval circle. So that's just an introduction to some of the methods that exist for how to create diagrams in Java. We'll work with this tomorrow. See you then.